Okay, then let's talk about burnout. So now burnout, <laughs> it's an interesting and it's a complicated topic. Basically burnout, you're working hard, you're heading in one direction, you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. And then eventually you hit this wall and it's kind of, oh shit, I'm burnt out, I'm fatigued. I don't feel like doing it. I feel like I can't do it. I need to take some time off, recharge the batteries, wait until that fire lights up again and then I'm gonna attack it again even harder. And it's kind of like a cycle, you go hard, you stop, you feel fatigued, you feel burnt out, you take some time off and then you redo it. Now people look for this, you know, cure for burnout. I'm not gonna get on camera and start dismissing burnout and saying, oh, you must be lazy, you must be this, you must be that. Because I've experienced it, but this is the interesting thing. Every time I experience something that I'm not, that I'm not comfortable with, I start analyzing it. How come I felt burnt out when I was doing this, but I didn't feel burnt out when I was doing that? And this is way easier than that. For example, my personal experience, the only time I've ever, I've ever felt burnout is doing this shit now, doing YouTube. That's the only time I've ever felt burnout is trying to do this. Now, a little over a year ago, I was working two jobs, 16 hours a day. I was going to the gym on my lunch break. I'd skip gym on Thursday so I could go to barbers on my lunch break instead, instead so I didn't look homeless. On the weekends, I'd wake up at five o'clock in the morning and go to the car boot sales or the garage sales, whatever you want to call it, to buy stock for my eBay reselling. And I was non-stop, non-stop. I didn't feel burnout. What's the difference? How come I didn't feel burnout doing that? Something that the majority of the population can't even fucking do. But this shit here burnt me out. What's the difference? What was that? When I was doing that shit a little over a year ago, I needed to do it in my mind. It wasn't something I wanted to do. It was something I needed to do. I needed more money. I, need to, I needed to escape my current situation. I wanted to get out of my regular job in that system. I, it was the only thing on my mind. It's all I wanted to do. This, I want it, but do I need it? It would be lovely if my YouTube channel pops off and then I could just live off ad revenue. Do you know what I mean? That'd be great. But if it don't happen, I don't really care. I care. If that didn't happen, I cared. You understand? That's the difference. So what you need to do is analyze when you're feeling burnt out. If you're feeling burnt out doing this, I know it's, it's, a, it's a, a bit of pill to swallow. You just don't want it enough. That's what it is. So when I feel burnt out with YouTube, it just means I don't want it enough because I didn't feel fucking burnt out when I was putting myself through hell to try and make some extra money. This obviously isn't lighting that fire the same way that freedom that all wanted did. You understand? So when you've got the choice, well, it's not really a choice. When it's, this is a need and this is a want. When it's only a want, you're going to burn out way quicker. When it's a need, you might not burn out at all. So you're looking for this cure for, oh, I don't want to feel burnt out. I'm doing, maybe what you're doing, you weren't really built for it. Or maybe you just don't want it enough. That's all it is. Do you know what I mean? So obviously everyone's striving for money. And a lot of the times you don't sit there and ask yourself, okay, then why do you want this amount of money? Why do you want these things? And you know, a lot of the time it's stuff like, you know, a certain car or, you know, a certain house or you believe that you're going to get women if you do this and all this other type of stuff. And these things, you know, you need, it has to be a bigger reason than that. Do you know what I mean? For me, freedom was a bigger reason. Even if that freedom meant I want to sit and watch Netflix, I had the freedom to do that if I wanted to do it. Sometimes when you're struggling for money, for materialistic things and stuff like that, you know, it's harder to stay motivated. For some people, it's enough. But for the people that get burnt out, I believe the reasons that you're trying to do what you're trying to do, it's not strong enough. It's not a strong enough reason to keep you going. When you need it, you work through the fatigue. Me, this time last year or a year and a half ago, I was permanently fatigued. Permanently. There weren't no, oh, I feel good today. Oh, I was permanently fatigued. I was getting four and a half hours sleep a night. Permanently fatigued. Working 16 hours a day. Permanently fatigued. It was, you know... But there was no burnout. I was a dangerous fucker back then. I need I need to get back to that. We'll see. That's my advice on that. Think about it, peace.